Chris Paul will ever get a ring? Oh, he definitely getting one next year. Oh, hold on. Y'all know what they say about that brother, Chris Paul. They say Chris Paul is actually cursed. They do be saying that. You know what? They probably should have let Cliff Paul play this year. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> yeah, little buddy, you good? Oh, yeah, I'm straight, bro. Okay, man, you ain't said nothing the whole cut. I'm damn near through now. Hey, man, I just got a lot on my mind. That's it. It's a whole lot of mind, man. Marble head ass nigga. <laughs> ah. I know what it is. This nigga ain't getting none. What you mean, man? How you figure that? Because the last time you came in here with this sad ass energy, nigga, you wasn't getting none. It felt like he been dating Parmesha for the last two weeks. This nigga dapped me up earlier, damn near fractured several bones in my hand. Don't you ever dap me up again. It's air death from here on out. You understand me? Man, shut your ass up, bro. Can you just finish cleaning me up? Yeah, I can cut you up, bro. But the other problem, you got to go down to Koreatown or Chinatown for that, because I'm not that type of ball. Now nah, you racist. But I'm not being racist. But I need to go get what I need to get. That's where I go to. And plus in K-Town, I got a little Hispanic chick. She a little spicy. And then in Chinatown, I got a sister. She got that thing on. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, is that the only thing that's got your panties in a bunch? Or do you have something else on your Astrodome? Nah, man. All right, let me ask you a question. <sighs> have you ever had a roommate? Whoa, whoa. Let me stop you right there, my boy. I do not do good with the roommate situations. Matter of fact, me and my ex-wife, we had separate apartments. What you mean you and your wife had separate apartments? Basically, he married a chick and he never moved her in. Dumbass. You know what? That's probably why it didn't work out. She kept wanting to have sleepovers with just me and her. What you talking about? What's the other option? Yeah, a sleepover with me and my other girlfriends, duh. Oh, you wild as hell, bro. What type of polytech relationship you got going on? Uh, it's polyamorous, bro. Hey, hey, would you be still? What kind of haircut you want? GED, nigga. What's up, bro? It's just that me and my roommate, man, we kind of at odds right now. What you mean, y'all at odds? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm a little behind on the rent now. He tripping. Sound to me like you fucking up. How you figure that? Okay, you right. My bad. Are you just like behind on the rent, or are you just like a little short for the month? Like I said, I'm behind on the rent. Okay, nigga, how far behind are you? Like two and a half months. God what? damn! What? Two and a half months, and he ain't kicked your ass out yet. Two and a half months, you might as well round it up to three, nigga. Yeah, nigga, your roommate way better than me, because I would have been put your ass out. Are you at least paying gas and electric or something? Oh, this man ain't even paying no utility bill. Sound like a damn dependent, bro. Oh, sleep on a beanbag ass, nigga. What you be playing, Twitch all day? Hey, man, it's not, it's not like that, bro. I'm just been going through hard times. Nigga, sound like your roommate the one going through hard times. You putting a lot of stress on my nigga, bro. You ain't paying no type of bills. So you just gonna take his side? Hell yeah, I'm gonna take his side. I should put your ass out on his behalf. You down here trying to spend money that you don't have for hair that you don't have. So he basically taking care of your dust ass. How you gonna be at odds with him? I'm glad you asked. Cause a while back I was at the crib shitting with my little chick, La Cienega. Whoa, 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 La Cienega? Nigga, La La? The one that's blessed in the chest? With the hella hella yams? Yeah, man, how you know La Cienega? And nigga, who are you, bro? Nigga, the whole hood know La Cienega. Nah, don't, don't tell me you. What you mean? Nah, don't tell you me. Yeah, me, nigga, Big Mike. I done been all up and through that thing. And I had her before and after the thickness. But she a little bougie with her thickness now, so she call it thick ass. Thick ass? Mike, what the fuck is thick ass? Oh, it's T-H-I-Q-U-E with the little thing at the top. She a little bougie with it. Hey, yo, yo, Mike, man, we done, bro? <laughs> yes, sir. Go chill up out of here, man. Yeah, man. Oh, no, sir, you keep that. This one is on the house. What you need to do is go get that to the nigga that's been babysitting your big silverback gorilla built ass these last three months, Harambe. Or, oh, Louis, you can give me that ten dollars. I got some old Andy's clippers at home. You can borrow. Come on down to the shop. Me and Big Mike gonna teach you how to cut. Now there ain't gonna be no pay up front. You gonna have to intern first, my nigga. Then you can get you a booth. All right, nigga, y'all niggas got jokes. I see it. No, nah, nigga, we got jobs. <laughs> Damn, Damn, bro. I'm out, my nigga. All right. Move, man. All right, well, we'll call social services and maybe we can get you a foster brother. <laughs> hey, bring good vibes to the shop next time. Good vibes only, please. Hey, nigga, you gonna finish cutting my hair? Yeah, uh, right after lunch. 
I'm not seeing it. I'm finna go to partners right now. What you want? Lately, I've been going through some things. I've been caught up in. Hey, 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 Lewis, what's going on, baby? How you doing, baby? What's going on? Let me get a dollar or something, baby. Come on. Wrong, wrong. I ain't in the mood today, bro. I ain't got it. Man, you lying, man. Come on, let me get a dollar, man. Come on, man. Ain't nobody lying, bro. Today ain't the day. I don't have no cheese for you, right? Make it. I just seen you come out the barber shop, man. I even put your head together, got the glistenness and stuff like that. It's like, come on, now you did it. First of all, I don't have no hair, so he just touched me up. Pause. And it was free, all right? Who the hell cut your big ass hair for free? If you owe me, I would have charged your ass $2,200. That's a lot of hair to be cutting, but that's a whole big old dome. That's Ron, Ron, stop, bro. Get out my face, all right? Damn. Oh, so that's, that's what you're going to do to me today. I bet you your mama got something today. Get your ass up. Hold on, you got to worry about me today. Hold on. Who is it? Your pops is me. Who's me? I don't know me. It's Lewis, your favorite son. The one you gave his hairline to. What's up, pops? Oh, that me. First of all, blame your mama for the hairline. Second, you're not my favorite son. I'm not your favorite son and I'm your only child. That we know of. So you're going to claim another child that you don't even know of over me? Yeah. And if I found I had another child somewhere, he or she would be my favorite. Ha ha, Pops, always the comedian. Yet, you the one with all the jokes. So what's this text I get about you about to move out? Yeah, me and my roommate, man, we not seeing eye to eye these days. I think I'm going to need to find another situation. <laughs> Think about the find another situation. <laughs> Boy, you kill me. You funny than the mofo. I'll tell you. But I just don't remember spoiling you so badly. Spoiled? I'm not spoiled. What you mean? Are you sure of that? Because I could have sworn you just said you and your roommate can't see eye to eye. Yeah, Ronaldo's tripping. Let me get this straight. You haven't had a job in months. You've been coming by here consistently hitting me up for my dough. And this boy has been paying all, if not most of the bills the whole time. And you are saying you can't see eye to eye with him? Here we go. Oh yeah, right, here we go. I don't see how a grown man won't pay his bills, but can go down to the strip club and make it rain. How you know about that, Pops? You been watching Kevin's stories? I don't watch no YouTube. It was on his Instagram, Pop. Yeah, I don't watch that either. But you came by here the other night smelling like pineapple lotion and chicken wings. And you had glitter on your neck, son. That ain't nothing but the Boom Boom Room. What you know about the Boom Boom Room, Pop? You don't know nothing about me, son. I've been going to the Boom Boom Room before you were born. Yeah, that's where I met your mama. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna cut it out, man. Hell yeah. So look, let me know. What is it I'm missing? You know what? Pops don't even matter. I just need a place to crash for a little while. Crash? A while? <laughs> hey, well, you ain't staying here. What? Why not? You my pops. Shit, that's why. I did my part of raising you. Shit, I thought. Apparently I must have did a shitty job if you think you about to move back up in here. <laughs> Maybe for one night. Two to the max. And that's if it's an emergency. <laughs> and ain't no sense of bringing no bags and no toothbrush. Because you're going to be gone before you get a chance to use any of that shit. Take that. Here, and you take the last of this here too. Yeah. And you go home and you get your shit together. You hear me? And be a man about it. So I really can't stay in the house I grew up in. Did I stutter? The key word is grew up in. Now say it with me. Grew, grew up, up in. in. That's right. Now, if you really feel that way, take your grown ass home, get the shit right. And when it's really time for you to move out, you'll know. Man, sitting over here talking about Ronaldo doing you wrong. Trying to come up here and live like it's going to be peaches and cream over here. See, you must have really forgot who I am. <laughs> Better ask somebody, youngster. Hold on, hold on. All right, so I got to ask you, what you say to her? I said, shoot, if you're going to come over, you got to bring you and your friend, the thick one. 
So you, in order, that was the ultimatum. In order for her to come through, she had to bring another chick. Yeah, yeah. Did she come? No. So you missed that on not one set of buns, but two sets of buns too, because you're trying to be greedy. Yes, but I had that type of appetite that night. You know what I'm saying? And she was thick. You know what I mean? She is dumb thick though. Is dumb thick. <laughs> Man, you crazy. Anyway, where's Kevin at? Ah, she. Birthday party. Birthday, I appreciate you. Love yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on, boy? Hey, round two. Round two. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Boom, boom, room. Same place. Boom, boom, room. Nah, we going to a different spot. The Yam Demi. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spot. yeah. Yeah. We gotta go there. That's great. Hey, man. So what's up, man? Y'all trying to do this or what, bro? Shoot, you know I'm trying to do it. You know I got my ones ready and everything. You feel me? Ones ready. You got 13 ones. Yeah, the, the club gonna get 13 at first. Cheap ass. So hold on, 13 ones, that's all you bring? Yeah, 13. The club gets 13 off top. You know, and then once they get it, if they deserve it, they get another 27. <laughs> so you only gonna spend 40 bucks at the club? Yeah, if they deserve it. Velasquez, you different, my nigga. Hey, hey, man. hey it's all good, but I know I got a few ones on deck my damn self, you feel me? So I'm with it. That's what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. That's what I'm hey, talking about. What up? What up? Oh, man. Man. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, caddy. What up, man? What up, man? What up, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. man I'm catching up with you. What I'm talking about. Now we can go. Let's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. What you dress nice for? Talking about you got ones on deck. Hey, um, Ronaldo, man. It's Kevin's birthday. I figure we all go out as a crew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it's my birthday, boy. It's my birthday. Oh, it's my birthday. I understand all that. We going out, but he not. Come on, man. It's, it's for the function, for Kevin's birthday. You already spent time with Kevin for his birthday. The Boom Boom Room. Come on, bro. I told you not to say nothing. No, nah, he didn't, but you did. What you mean? I saw your story. You had a nice ass time. Had Tango Ray over there. You were doing you your did. thing. You did. I'm trying to get the Tango Ray. You know Wait a minute. He a grown ass man. This nigga got chores. <laughs> Ch chores? You want to explain the situation to these niggas or do I have to? Alright, man. So, it's been rough for your boy financially, man. Um, I, I ain't really been uh, working. I've been in between jobs and all that, so I haven't been chipping around the house like I'm supposed to, you know what I'm saying, with the bills and everything. So, uh, yeah, time's been rough for your boy for the last, you know, seven odd weeks. Seven odd weeks, nigga. Try the last two months, nigga. You got lap dance money? Look, nah, man. Lewis, how you get ones on deck? I, I saved up a couple. I knew, his, I knew his birthday was coming up, so, uh, I saved up a couple ones for the event. But you can't save up for your rent. Damn. Damn. Look, look. If it's money, bro, I got you. You know what I'm saying? I got another 13. I can shoot you. You know what I'm saying? Last case, I can't tell you what to do with your bread, but this nigga's gonna have to politely decline. Yeah, man. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, chill. I'm a little tired anyways. You know what I mean? Nah, nah. You ain't tired, bro. Look, we all brothers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you too big to let this nigga talk to you like that. Y'all go ahead and run that fade so we can go ahead and get to Yam Demi. Respectfully. No, I have no problem fighting you, but you know you're going to be on the street. Don't let these niggas rile you up. What's your hand doing, nigga? Unball that motherfucker. This nigga got the nerve to ball his fist up. Look, bro. I don't know what's going on, bro. We all homies, man. And we all should be going to Yamdemic tonight. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the nigga Lewis without. So this is what I'm going to tell you to do. Put those ones on the deck of my dresser on the way to your room. Take off that nice get up, fold it neatly in your dresser drawers, throw some sweats on and hop on those dishes, nigga. Ronaldo, my nigga. It's, it's the nigga birthday. We all out here chilling. Come on, man. Why you, why you being like this? So if this nigga go to the club with us after tonight, he gonna stay with one of y'all niggas. Well, get to themselves, my nigga. <clears throat> Love you, bro. <clears throat> Appreciate the thought, my nigga. Watch my stories. So you really ain't going. So you think I'm gonna go to the club with you, watch you put your face in ass cheeks and throw money at titties? 
I should have did this shit a long time ago. Be still. All right, bro. I got it. Hurry up, nigga. I'm rocking this till you pay up. How I look. Damn. To the max.